Ever wondered why your grandmother told you, red sky at night, sailors delight, red sky at morning, sailors take warning? This saying steeped in generations of wisdom comes from the rugged and beautiful Appalachia region. The people of these isolated hills were deeply connected to the land they inhabit, and they have always been astute observers of nature and the sky. Weather prediction wasn't just a science for them, it was a way of life. This keen observation led to the creation of a unique body of knowledge known as weather lore. These are sayings passed down through generations that help predict the weather based on patterns in nature. The red sky is just one example of the many colorful phrases that make up this rich tradition. So the next time you see a red sky, remember what your grandmother said. But why stop there? There's more to the weather lore of these mysterious hills. Did you know that the mountaineers could predict rain by observing spider webs? It's a fascinating bit of folklore steeped in the everyday observations of nature. Spiders often rebuild their webs before a rainstorm, a behavior that the folks in this region took as a sign of impending showers. But the spider webs are just one piece of the puzzle. There's a whole lexicon of signs and symbols in their weather lore, each one more intriguing than the last. Take, for instance, the woolly bear caterpillar. This fuzzy little creature is said to predict the severity of winter. The wider its middle brown stripe, the milder the winter will be. Then there's the onion skin, another barometer of the coming winter. According to the old-timers lore, the thicker the skin, the harsher the winter. It's a prediction method that combines nature's subtleties with a dash of old-world wisdom. Don't forget the wind. In mountain culture, the wind's direction is a crucial element in forecasting the weather. A wind blowing from the south brings warmth and good weather while a wind from the north signals cold and perhaps a storm. These superstitions, or weather lore as we call them, may seem bizarre to some, but for the people of Appalachia, they are part of a rich cultural tradition. Now, you might be asking, why should I care about these old wives' tales? Well, these tales are more than just lore. They're yet another reminder to the deep bond between these canny mountaineers and their environment. These superstitions, while not rooted in modern science, often contain kernels of truth. They show us how our ancestors used keen observation to understand their world. So, next time the weatherman fails you, perhaps you can look to the spider webs, the woolly bear caterpillar, or even the onion skin. After all, there's a bit of wisdom in every superstition, isn't there?